We all have someone that kind of helped mold who we are, what we're about uh, within an organization somewhere along the way that, that kind of helped you uh, become this person, this driver that you are. You know, for me, Mike McLaughlin was probably that guy. Oh, yeah. um, Mike pushed me, right? Because for me, like I said, growing up, I just showed up and raced. I don't even know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. And that's where Mike really helped me a lot, is just trying to guide me. You're leaning on him for whether it's personal things or whatever. It gets to that point because you, you trust them for what they've done. Mike McLaughlin. They might as well name victory lane after that guy here. The champion is Magic Shoes McLaughlin. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I think he's happy. He was uh, helping me communicate with, with Greg Zipadelli, who was my crew chief at the time. He was friends with him for, yeah. I think, their whole lives. So, you know, having kind of that the guy in the middle sometimes helped our relationship. You know, we, we were kind of, everywhere I went, Mike was with me. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was flying to the racetrack. It was, you know, before we get to the racetrack, it was post-race meetings. He was, he was there as just kind of like my coach, right? To, yeah. to kind of help guide me along through the different situations that are gonna come up when you're racing that he's been through. Mike, what were the things you saw in him? Oh, I tried to keep hey. up. He <laughs> <laughs> right behind me. <laughs> hey, you guys knew I was going to say that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hey, we were talking about the old days. I know, I How know. How long was he there? <laughs> oh, he you guys did a good job question. hiding that. That was pretty good. Wow. Right there, I'm easy to hide. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, stick me in a corner. Well, I'm, I'm glad good. I didn't uh, say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great. Mike, what oh, did you really see cool. in him as a driver that oh, you were willing to help along? I mean, he always had the raw talent, you know, today it's raw talent and, uh, you know, just hard work, dedication. And obviously he has both, but in the beginning, uh, you know, it was just, he, he didn't have the experience. And that was probably the biggest thing that uh, he had to overcome. Did you also have to be that mental coach at times too, to help him get through difficult you times? Know, we, we, uh, we had to He's work through, through a few me. things, you know, <laughs> yeah. but we, we did get through them. Bob's dad, he, he thought I was more of a marriage counselor between the two of them, you know, because <laughs> Tony was Greg and Tony had a, you know, obviously a special relationship bond and, uh, but I think, you know, he had to be fairly aggressive with Tony and, Joey was kid. The 18-year-old in only his third start is going to win at Kentucky. I guarantee that's the first of many. See him come from where he started to where he is today. I mean, at one point, I think he questioned, can I do this? I don't know. But obviously, he's one of the best in the business today, so it's pretty cool. And he hasn't forgot where he come from. So <laughs> that's the main thing. Good to see you, man. Hey, nice to see you. Great. Thanks man, for coming. Yeah. You know what's funny is he was standing there for a while. <laughs> he was. I didn't even know. And you no were idea. Idea. I was, too. I was I just, like, he didn't even look over. He was I just felt like you were going to feel him at some point. <laughs> hey, Motorsports fans. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.